Hey guys, welcome back to a new video which is about navigating in Jetpack Compose with Voyager. And Voyager is a library that makes navigation between screens a lot more easier than the regular navigation that we had from Google, which was just too complex. If you, for example, need to pass arguments to another screen, you need a lot of bottle print code, but this is not the case in Voyager, which is a lot more simpler and easier. So let's go to Android Studio and get started. Here we are in Android Studio, this is the app we are going to build, this app that has this bottom navigation and each tab in this bottom navigation has its own back stack. So now we are in the home tab, we can go to screen 2, now we are in screen 2 and we came from screen 1, so we pass this argument that is high from screen 1 with this smiley face from screen 1 and we can go to screen 3 and if we go to this other tab, the account tab, we are in screen 1 and we can go to screen 2 and if we go back here, we're still in screen 3 in which we lift this tab and we can of course go back to screen 1 and here we are still in screen 2, we can go to screen 3 so we have multiple back stacks and if we leave a tab and go to another tab, we still have where we left the previous tab and here we have, as you can see, different screens in each tab and we pass an argument from a screen to another and all of that with Voyager. So let's now jump to Android Studio and see what we need first, which are some dependencies. Here they are. This is the version of Voyager we're going to use, 1.0.0. And the first one is the navigator, which is just like a, a nav host in uh, Compose Navigation, but it's a lot more simpler and easier. This is very simple. And we have a tab navigator for, of course, tabs, because now we create tabs here. So we have a navigator for tabs and we have a navigator for just navigating between screens when we don't have a tab. And the last one is transitions, which is just for transitions when navigating. We have uh, some pre-built transitions and we can create our own transitions if we want to. So this is what we need. We just have these dependencies in our Gradle file and click sign. I will leave this code in the description on GitHub. You can copy them from there if you want to. And let's go now to our main activity. The first thing we create is just our screen. So as we saw, we have three different screens. So screen one, screen two, and screen three. We're going to create those. And let's say screen one. And in uh, Voyager, a screen can be three different things. It can be a normal class like this screen. It can be a data class if you want to pass arguments. And it can be an object if it's a tab. So this is our screen. And it will simply inherit from screen that comes from Voyager, which is this one. And then we need to override uh, a function, which is content. And this one is a composable function. So inside this content, we will have our screen content. That's simple. So what we are going to have is a common and we will have a modifier to fill the max size. So modifier dot fill max size and we want to center the content. So say horizontal alignment center horizontally and vertical arrangement center like that. And then we'll simply have a text here that tells us in what screen we are. So in first screen, we say screen one. And then I'm going to put a little spacer right here of height, let's say 50.dp. And then a button that will have a text that says go to screen two. So when you click on it, we'll navigate to screen two. And of course, in the on click, we will be navigating. And to navigate, we need a navigator, which is exactly what we had here in the dependency. We need this navigator. And to get that navigator, we can say in our content function here, var navigator is local navigator dot current. This is how we can get the current navigator because of course we can have multiple navigators if you want to have multiple backstacks just as we had in the app I showed you and this navigator is for this specific backstack so we get the current navigator for this specific backstack and we'll, we'll see how we can now create this navigator but firstly just now create the other screens so we just copy screen one and then in our root package we'll create screen two and of course, we just replace it with screen two and go to screen three. Now we won't be passing anything to the screen yet, but we will do that later. 
and then we create screen we create screen tree screen tree and then we can just say go back now because we have no more screens to go to but just we want to go back in our screen tree and then to navigate we can use our navigator right here so we can say navigator dot push so we have actually different things we can do with this navigator we can push a screen so we can push screen two like this and then this one is nullable so why screen two because screen two inherits from screen which is the screen that comes from voyager and this push function takes a screen and since that screen to inherits from from it then we can pass it and we have actually different things and we're going to see some of them so we can push and we can pop we can pop onto root so uh, pop all the screens until the very first screen and we can pop until and we, we tell it until which screen we want to stop the popping to and we can push we can push multiple screens and we have like different things that we can do we can pop all screens we can replace a screen if we want to we can replace a bunch of screens so we have actually quite so many things that we can do and Voyager handles all of that for us so now we want to push a screen and now as I said we want to push screen to so we just copy this and right here we want to push now screen tree so from screen two we want to navigate to screen tree like this and then in screen tree we don't want to push anything instead we want to pop now so navigator dot pop like this so we want to pop the screen from our back stack so now let's create this main navigator in our main activity and that is very simple let's just let this grid in composable in here in our surface all we really need to do is say navigator and then pass our start screen so now we want to start from screen one like this let's import this navigator import and that's it actually this is literally all you need to do you know more that border police code and if we're on the app we should be able to now navigate between those screens here is the app we are in screen one we want to go to screen two and here we are in screen two we want to go to screen three here we are in screen tree and we want to go back of course we we'll pop the screen and of course if we just click on the back button we'll be also going back like this until we even close the app and uh, as you expect the other functions like for example pop r like this will pop everything and uh, let's say pop anti root will pop all the screens until the first uh, screen then it will stop so let's just uh, try this one out and see so we can navigate to screen three when we click it pops all the screens until the very first screen so that's how it works and uh, they are very simple so if you want to try them out uh, you can do that and you can experiment them by yourself and let's say if we don't want to have the f the second screen anymore in our back stack we can just pop it like this before navigating so if we want to skip it for example we can do this now we are in screen two when we navigate to screen three now our screen 2 is popped from the back stack so when we go back it is now gone we don't have screen 2 anymore and if you don't want if you want that in on back click then you also need to have some code to handle that on back press but i'll leave that to you and now let's say i want to have bottom navigation so let's first create now our tabs because we need the tabs for that and the tabs can be object so we create a new class or a new object i mean and that is going to be let's say home tab like this and this will inherit from tab which is this one from uh, Voyager and then we need to override or implement some functions which are the content function and this options variable and we'll see why we need that so the content is clear here we will have our content simply and let's actually start with that before going to the options in our content we'll just have a navigator just like as we did in the main activity because now we want to create this tabs own back stack so we create a navigator that starts from screen one and uh, in the options we want to specify some things like the icon the label or the say title of this tab so some things that needs to be shown in the screen so to do that 
let's open some brackets here and this kit is going to be a composable function like this and then we need now a title let's say var title let's say home and then we need an icon so var uh, oops we don't need a comma here but just like this icon that is going to be remember vector painter and then we're just going to pass now an icon right here so icon or icons dot uh, let's say rounded and then since this is home we're going for home and then we need to return our options so say return since this is a get function remember tab options and then we need to pass some things to it like the index of it which is going to be now since this is the first one zero u and then the title is going to be title and the icon is going to be icon let's just import remember and let's remove this uh, equal sign there and actually yes now we created our options so what this means is that if we were going to have this tab in our bottom navigation this is the icon we're going to show this is it, it, its index so this is the first one and then in the second tab this will be one and then this is the icon so this now creates the second tab so right here the second tab let's say account tab or anything account tab of course this one now is going to be account and as I said now this will increase this one to be one and then we say here account or something account circle so actually this is it now we created our tabs and each tab has its own navigator now we're going to our main activity and create our tab navigator which is the one that we had in our grid of files so we created a tab navigator so this navigator for normal navigation between screens and this one for tab navigator if you want to have a bottom navigation or some tabs in our screen that's why we would use that and now in this case exactly that's what we are going to use so we need a tab navigator like this and we specify our first tab here which is our home tab and since we need a bottom navigation so we need to create a scaffold as well and here in our scaffold we need bottom bar so let's create that we need a navigation bar of course this one and then to create those navigation items we'll create a we'll create an extension function down here so it is going to be a composable private fun row scope dot say tab navigation item so this is our extension function and of course this extension function will take a tab of type tab like this and we want to get our tab navigator here so to be navigating when we click on a, a bottom item so the tab navigator is going to be just like the first one local tab navigator dot current this is how we get it and then want to create a navigation bar item so that comes from compose which is this one we have a bunch of functions let's just make this a little bit readable like this and then it selected is if our tab navigator dot current is equal to the tab that we passed here so if the current tab in our tab navigator is equal to this tab that we have here and then in the on click we set now the current tab that we clicked on as the tab so tab navigator dot current is equal to our tab like this so now the current tab because we clicked on it is now this one that we passed here and then the icon is going to be tab dot options dot icon and that is nullable so use something like this lit to get the non null uh, icon now we get a painter actually so to put that as an icon we can just say icon and uh, let's put this we don't want that we don't want an image vector we want now a painter this one that is of course it like this and then the content description can be our tab title so tab dot options dot title so like that and if you don't know what it is it's just painter simply like this that's what it is and we need a label or a text basically so label 
that is a text and the text is this one our tab title so tab dot options dot title now we created our extension function for tab navigation item that we can of course use everywhere if we have even multiple button navigations in our app we can use this one but usually we only have one so yes we can use this one if we have multiple ones and then we want to call that function so tab navigation item and then we pass the tab that we need first which is our home tab and then of course we have a, a second tab which is the account tab like this if you have more tabs then we can just duplicate this and pass them now we have two tabs only and then down here in our content we can just call current tab this one and simply this current tab now will show my current tab that I am in and when I change the tab this also will be changed and we need to use that padding so we just put this inside a box that is uh, need, that needs padding and we say bottom because now we'll have padding from the bottom is it dot calculate bottom padding like this and then we put this one inside it so let's see we have an error here we need to add some experimental annotation and let's run the app and hope for the best so here we have our tabs for our bottom navigation so now if we navigate to the second one the third one we can navigate and if we go to the account one we come to the first one as you can see we can go to the th second one and then if we go back to home we're still in the third one if we go back to the first one here uh, now in the account we are still in the second one so our back stacks are working just fine we have multiple back stacks and the user won't lose where they left a, a, a specific tab and they will find that so now we don't actually have any animations or transitions when we navigate and to implement those we will go to where we created our navigator right here and it's really simple so we just open brackets like this in which we get the current navigator and then let's for example use the slide transition and then I pass my navigator in this case it is it like this or to make this even more readable we can just say navigator and then I pass that here so navigator like this and basically everywhere we have this navigator we can have actually a transition there so let's do that actually for the other tab which is account tab I'm just going to paste it like this and right here let's say use fade transition now when we navigate we can actually see transitions so let's actually see that okay as you can see now if I navigate now I have these transitions which are the slide transitions and in the other tab I have this fade transition as you can see of course when I navigate to a screen then I slide from the right to the left but when I go back to a screen as you can see if I click on the back button from the left to the right so our slides or our transitions are working just fine and now let's see if you want to pass some arguments to another screen in this case screen 2 and all we need to do is make it a data class that's what we need to do and then of course data class needs arguments so let's say var text of type string like this and then we want to display our text right here text and we of course can pass any type it doesn't have to be a primary type like an integer or an, a boolean or a string it can be any type basically so even if you have a custom data class you can pass an object of that to another screen so you no longer need that uh, serialization or parsing or anything like that so in our screen one where we navigate we just need now to pass something so let's write hi from screen one with a smiley face like this oops like this and if we run the app we should see our argument in the second screen so here's our first screen we navigate and here's our argument hi from screen one with a smiley face so this is how we can pass arguments to other screens with Voyager so actually this is it. for this video we learned how we can navigate between screens how we can create multiple back stacks and how we can use it with bottom navigation and of course how we can pop screens and have transitions as well so when we navigate between screens we can have slight transitions fade transitions and we can create our own one but i'm not going to do that in this video as you can see voyager is a lot more easier than actually the normal navigation and also you can use it with kotlin multi-platform kmp when you want to create an app that works on both android and ios so see you in the next video and bye